Hey, Jonathan Bennett here, back with another Mesh-tastic news flash. Today we're going to be talking about position precision. First of all, for those that don't know, Mesh-tastic is an open source project to provide off-grid communications using LoRa radios to build a mesh network. You can find more information about that at meshtastic.org. Now, one of the killer features of Mesh-tastic is location sharing over the mesh. Out hiking with a buddy, you both have radios, you can see where each other are on the map. Now, not everyone wants to give their exact position away, particularly if you're doing something like sending mesh-tastic data over the internet using MQTT. So today we have a solution for that and some great free bonuses that come along with it. First, we've added a new data structure inside channel configuration called module settings. It's a place to put per channel module configurations. The first setting that goes in there is position precision. It's a value that can be anything from zero to 32, and it defines the numbers of bits to mask off of your position. So if you set 32, you're sending your precise position. A setting of zero completely disables sending location data over that channel. Useful values range from about eh, 10 to 16, where 16 sends your location to within a few houses, and 10 shows eh, roughly what city you're in. Along with this setting, we've added the precision bits field inside position packets. That gives a client the ability to show the zone of ambiguity. That way you know how exact a location is on the map. So let's take a look at how to use this feature and then what it looks like. Let's start with Android. And while we don't have the nifty visualization working for the map view yet, you can set the precision setting here. And it's pretty simple. I'm gonna go into the channel. One of the options here is position. We can go from high precision, that's all 32 bits, all the way down to disabled. Medium precision, I think is somewhere around 16. And low precision is 11. These are just some simple presets. So we wanted medium precision on this channel. Save, send, and accept, and it will upload the change to the, uh, to the device. Now let's take a look at the position precision feature in the iOS app. And first off, tip of the hat to the Meshtastic guys. They sent this iPad to me specifically for testing this out, and uh, thank you so much to them for that. Now, as you see here on the map, we've got the reported location of each of these devices, but we also see a sphere of precision around each of them. And that shows the possible locations where each one could be. And I've got to say, I really love the way this visualization works. It's just, it's perfect. It looks really great. And then let's take a look at making this setting in your device. Go to settings, and then we're going to go to channels, because remember, this is a per channel setting. Here we're going to go into the primary channel, and you see the position options here. We've got positions enabled is true. If precise location is enabled, then you don't set the precision at all. But if you disable it, you have this nifty slider where you can say, I want to report my location to within. And because I'm using uh, American units, it's giving me miles. Go as, as low as two tenths of a mile all the way up to 7.3 miles. And that's kind of the radius of that sphere we just looked at. So some things to remember. First, if the precision value isn't set, we fall back to the established behavior of on primary channels automatically sending full precision location data. And on secondary channels, we don't send any at all. Now, those of you particularly familiar with how Meshtastic works might be wondering what this setting does on a secondary channel. Now, we aren't automatically sending location packets on secondary channels, although there has been some discussion on how to do that without making it too easy to flood the mesh. So maybe coming. Instead, this defines how a secondary channel responds to a location request. You can ignore those requests by leaving the position set to zero or pick another value to define how much information you are willing to share. All this landed in firmware version 2.2.24, which is still an alpha release. So if you're adventurous, go grab it, give it a whirl. Otherwise, wait a few more days for a stable release. Either way, let us know how it works for you. And if you really appreciate it, subscribe, give the video a like. Feel free to drop a tip in the tips jar at buymeacoffee.com slash jbennett. And hey, you can keep up with my other work over at hackaday.com, which is now the new home of Floss Weekly with yours truly as the host. Don't forget about the Untitled Linux show over at twit.tv. And until next time, when we inevitably come back to look at something nerdy about either Meshtastic or Linux or whatever else strikes my fancy, take care.